Okay, so you want to create actual versus target charts in Microsoft Excel. Your targets may be different for each product or they may be the same. I'll show you how to create both charts. Okay, let's get started. So here the targets are different for each product. So I click somewhere in my data, I go to insert recommended charts. I go to all charts at the top here and I choose combo. So actual should be a clustered column and target should be a line. If your settings are not the same, just select the relevant option from these drop down lists. Click on OK. Right click on the line, go to format data series, click on this paint bucket. Make sure line is expanded and select no line. Then go to marker, expand marker options and select built in. Change the type to this long line here and then change the size. If you like, you can add an effect like a shadow. Click on this button here, Effects, Shadow. I'll select this shadow option here, Offset Bottom. If you want to show a data label for the markers, click on this plus button, select Data Label, and you can choose where you want the data label to appear. I've got it set so it appears to the right of the marker. Select the data labels, and you can, on the Home tab of your ribbon, change the font color. You can also decrease the size of the label text. You can add a label to these columns as well. Select the columns, go back to this plus button, add a data label. I'm going to put these inside base. It puts at the bottom of each column. Select the label, change the font color and the size. If you want to get rid of the grid lines, you can click on this plus button and untick grid lines here. If you want to widen the columns, right click on one of the columns, format data series, and then decrease the gap width. You could also resize these markers, select a marker, go to this paint bucket, go to marker, marker options, increase the marker size. You can then change your chart title, and you're done. Now in this example, the target is the same for each of the products. And you can see I've got the target stored in a separate area of the worksheet. So I click up here into the data, I go to insert, and then I'm gonna to go to this button here, insert column or bar chart, and I'm gonna select this first chart type, cluster column. I'm just gonna move this over here so we can see our data. Then on the chart design tab, go to select data, click on add, series name, target, Series values, delete what's currently in that little box, and then select your target value. Click on OK. Click on OK. Now right click on this orange column, go to Change Series Chart Type. And where it says Target here, change the chart type to Scatter. Click on OK. Select this little circle here, go to your plus button, top right of the chart and add an error bar. Then go to More Options. Direction needs to be plus and you don't want a cap. Where it says Error Amount, go to Fixed Value. Now I'm going to put in a fixed value of 5 because I have 5 data points in this series here. Press Enter to confirm. Now you can see that I now have a line that expands across the chart. You can see it's not quite in the right position. So what I'm going to do is go to Select Data, Select Target, click Edit, and where it says Series X Values, into 0.5. Click on OK. Click on OK. That looks better. Now I need to get rid of this marker here. So I click on it. Click on this Paint Bucket, Marker, Marker options, none. With that still selected, I'm going to click on this plus button, add a data label, and then I'm going to select the data label box, and drag it over here, delete this little line, right click on the label, format data label. I'm going to show series name with a space between the series name and the value. And I can just drag it in a little bit. Now, if we want to change the color 
of the line, the error bar, select it, click on the paint bucket, change the color here. You can also change its width. And I could also change the color of this text. So home tab, change the color here. You could also add data labels to the columns themselves. So if I select a column, go to plus, and then select data label, I can change its position to inside end, select the data labels, and then change the font color. I could add a chart title. And I'm done. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.